Hello everyone, my name is Chiko Deli Peace Odinaka Chiku and I recently just graduated from the Mechatronics Engineering Honors Program here at Ontario Tech University in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. I chose the field of engineering because I want to be able to help people. I want to be able to use the skills and the knowledge that I gain to use engineering and technology to impact and better people's lives. And I chose mechatronics engineering specifically because mechatronics engineering is a field of engineering that comes with a very diverse knowledge base. It gives you and equips you with a variety of skills that is applicable across industries. So we're talking about mechanical, electrical, electronics, robotics and better systems control all of these are inculcated into the curriculum of mechatronics engineering at ontario tech university and seeing this major as one that exposes you to this wealth of knowledge was something that intrigued me and so it's very well-rounded and versatile and gives you that option of you know going into any industry right after you graduate and it also opens more career options more business options for you further down the road in the future some really important factors i considered before choosing ontario tech university were the cost the quality of education very important the environment where i'm going to be spending most of my time and the location and so Ontario Tech University was one of the universities at the time that offered mechatronics engineering in Canada and also did it at the state of art level, providing us with great, great hands-on experience and also a very well enriched curriculum. So why not? Engineering culture at Ontario Tech is very team-like. It's a very collaborative environment and aside from it being very hands-on and practical, you have your lectures, you have your labs and you also have your tutorials. And so in your lectures, that's where you have your professors going over the theoretical background, the information that you need to know. And in tutorial is where you have teaching assistants that work directly and very closely with the professors further you know going through questions and reinforcing the knowledge you already got from the lectures and then the lab component is where you're able to now practicalize do all the hands-on experiments and that helps you to just connect theory to application so it all ties in beautifully in terms of assignments and exams it is dependent on the professor on how they decide to grade your final exams and so the weight of a particular course can be you can have assignments you can have projects you can have presentations you can have final papers and depending on the distribution of your grades everything is usually announced or shared with the students at the beginning of the semester so you know what you're working towards and how to maximize your um, earning potential grade wise some skill sets or mindset or traits that are really good coming into mechatronics engineering and even engineering in general is one is being a really really great team player because you're going to be working on a lot of projects and in teams another one is being a good and effective communicator emphasis on the effective communication because that's what makes the team work leadership is also really great being very adaptable is also crucial because you're going to be working with different people from different backgrounds from different majors too so adaptability is also another thing i would advise that students have coming into this program resilience diligence and patience are also three key attributes i would say would also help you move forward and now in terms of studying and succeeding in this major four key things that i would strongly advise and recommend for any student is one ask questions don't be afraid to ask questions the professors have office hours the tas also have office hours you can also book by appointments or emails it's really good to ask questions for anything you don't understand and then the second would be writing things down writing things down helps you even psychologically it helps you retain information and also as you write things down it becomes easier for you at least for me to also 
remember the a third thing would be for you to always always read and study to understand don't just read to memorize or just to regurgitate read and seek study to understand that's what helps me when you understand the basics that would help you go about even asking your questions solving problems like all of that stuff is going to help you really really well as long as you understand you put you. and the last final point would be practice 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 don't just the, the problem seems easy when you look at it when it's already solved but practicing helps it become like a muscle memory and so that's just how i study and how i made excellent grades and also worked in amazing teams so coming into ontario tech in any engineering discipline they have what is called the foundational year where all engineering students regardless of your discipline take the exact same courses throughout your first year so that is also helpful for students coming from high school or from a background where they are not exactly sure of what they want to do but they know they want to go into engineering so this first year gives them an introduction into the different um, types of engineering it also gives them a glimpse of what will be covered in coming upper years so it helps prepares you and in that way you're able to pinpoint or kind of gauge what kind of subjects you like what kind of courses you really fancy you really enjoy and just from there you're able to now have a better clarity in terms of what it is you want to focus on so after the foundational year for mechatronics there are programming courses design courses math courses mechanic courses and then further down the program you now have robotic courses and you know more hands-on courses and most of these courses are foundations for the next and so it's really important for you as you progress through your um the mechatronics engineering program it's really important for you to both retain previous knowledge and have the understanding because they build off of each other and your professors expect you to have a certain level of knowledge when you're at a particular level for example professors wouldn't go over second year content when you're in third year or fourth year because they expect you to have already attained that level of knowledge as you've passed that level so it's really important for you to um, focus during those foundational stages because they kind of help build you up your application process it's a really good thing I it will help you stand out and also if you're still in high school it's good for you to focus on math courses physics courses and also computer courses so courses that help um, with the analytical side because there's a lot of calculations there's a lot of applications of physics in engineering and also for mechatronics specifically having a good knowledge and a very solid background of computer programming also gives you an edge and in terms of scholarship Ontario Tech University offers great entrance scholarships for domestic students and also international students because I myself am also an international student and they offer entrance scholarships and also when you're already a student they also have what is called the in-course scholarships where based on your performance academically so on your grade you automatically qualify and receive scholarships based on your GPA and aside from scholarships there are also bursaries available and also donor awards that are from the university's external partner and that's what the university does in terms of financially aiding their students and that helps in terms of the financial load it helps like take some of it off coming out of university with a mechatronics degree it really shows you the reciprocity of being a mechatronics engineering graduate you can work in fields like control systems 
robotics, artificial intelligence, even in the field of software, you can work as a developer, a software engineer in electronics. Like there's a vast range of industry application roles and jobs for a graduate from university with a mechatronics engineering degree. So your options are basically endless and that it would all depend on you after graduation where you want your field of focus to be so if you want it in controls you can go down that path you can do instrumentations you can do systems you can do algorithms it's just it varies and it's very dependent on the individual but the job market the job roles is very very abundant and Coming from that background, again, it equips you with the knowledge to just be applicable in any industry. So, mechatronics engineering is very rich in that aspect. When I came to Ontario Tech, I did stay on residence, so on campus for my first year. And after my first year, I moved off campus. And one thing that's really great about Ontario Tech and I believe also the Oshawa area is that there's a lot of options for student housing and it's also very affordable so whatever your budget is whatever style your preferences and everything it all depends on what you want and how you go about it but there's various options for student housing that are really close to the university and also those that are more distance away from the university so there's really really good options in terms of housing there's the on campus off campus and there's just a lot for students to explore down here in Oshawa. your university experience at ontario tech is primarily what you make of it and so the decision whatever decision you decide i want my university experience to be this is what you would get at ontario tech you can decide very academic very social or very well-rounded it all depends on you but the options at ontario tech university are very very great there's volunteering there's leadership roles there's the social aspect, there's the sporting events, there's societies, sororities, everything is there for you. You just have to make use of your resources and explore because not just being, not just having that academic side, university is not just about, you know, books, 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 it's also the relationships you build, your network, how you're able to just go into an environment and also find people that have things in common with you. Culture at Ontario Tech is very diverse in terms of the students, the clubs, the society, the resources. And so there's a lot of opportunities for you to make friends. It's just having the courage to step outside your comfort zone and just meet new people. It doesn't have to be just in class. You can literally just go to the washroom and just start talking. It's it's really that not easy but it's simple if you are willing to make the effort because there's effort that goes into you know building a relationship but there are different avenues for you to do that at ontario tech and um, there's different clubs and different initiatives that are founded on campus so those geared towards people of color those geared towards the um other minority and ethnic groups and all of these are good courses for the purposes of educating and also empowering those on campus that you know are of a different backgrounds or are of a visible minority in terms of the population there are a good percent of students that make up the international community so coming from countries like my hometown nigeria from my own experience, I've met a lot of amazing, awesome people, awesome international students. And even the testimony is that I've met more African students here in Canada at Ontario Tech than when I was back home in Nigeria. So that just goes to tell you that you have an amazing array and you're going to find just really really great individuals amazing individuals here at ontario tech university ontario tech university there's a lot of resources available to students and it's really important for you to ask questions so resources for mental health financial aid accommodation academic excellence even student involvement student life like all of those are very readily available and also easily accessible 
for students at Ontario Tech University and it's the responsibility of the student to seek them out because yes they are there for you but if you don't seek them out and also make use of them you wouldn't be able to utilize them and also um, maximize all the support systems that are available to you at Ontario Tech as a student and those support they go a really long way in helping you have a beautiful university experience and it helps you get well-rounded not just academically but in the university community because personally that's what i did i took the step i asked questions i got to know about things i got to know about people i got to know about resources so the resources are available and there for you you just have to ask and inquire remember no question is stupid you just have to ask and as long as you're able to figure things out you'll be fine the advice i would give to my first year self starting out in the mechatronics engineering program is that don't be afraid don't be scared that everything can be learned and that you're definitely going to figure it out and at the end of the day everything is going to fall into place so just take your time and you'll do amazing hope you watching this get through your university application process smoothly and get to have an overall amazing university experience good luck and god bless you bye